So tell me, what is a virtual assistant and how can that help get rid of your baggage? Okay. So a virtual assistant offers business support online. Um, it's kind of like having a personal assistant, um, they're, but they're not in your office. So they can pretty much do everything a personal assistant can do apart from the filing and making the coffee. Yes. <laughs> and this is more common now with the age of technology, isn't it? Well, that's right. Um, a, you know, a virtual assistant works from their home and they can work with anyone throughout the world or New Zealand. Yeah. So you've had clients overseas, obviously. What, what kind of places are you working with? Um, I can work with people throughout New Zealand. I've got clients in Australia, the UK, Fiji and Switzerland. Mm, so you're really like going to Fiji without going there. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> so that's nice that you can actually go all around the world without even leaving your home. Thanks for coming here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you should say that because, you know, I'll be at a barbecue and um, people will, you know, you'll be chatting and someone will say, oh, what do you do? And I'll say, I'm a virtual assistant. And they go, oh, are you really here? <laughs> <laughs> she is here. She's right here. She's right here. So what kinds of organisations now typically hire a virtual assistant rather than a real person that comes into their office? Um, well, anybody can. Uh, anybody can work with a virtual assistant. I have clients that are authors, interior designers, builders, um, inventors, mm. TV celebrities, you know. So, <laughs> so so long as you need business support, so long as you want some business support, you can work with a virtual assistant. Yeah, brilliant. And actually, a lot of people, I think, in the past would have thought that they couldn't afford to hire a person, you know, and all the stuff that goes with that. What are the benefits of having a virtual person? Yeah, well, a virtual assistant works from their home office, so they're not in your office. Yeah. So they're not um, taking up office space, you're not having to provide them equipment, and you're not having to uh, pay for their holiday time or their sickness, you know, if they're unwell. So, you know, it works really well from, from that point of view. Yeah, so it would be a lot more cost effective, actually, than, than a conventional, old fashioned hire somebody. Oh, definitely. And, you know, you're not paying for them to spend time chatting around the water cooler either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, there are, so it's, a, again, a very efficient way to, to hire. Um, so what would you say to someone who says, well, you know, that would be great, but how am I supposed to manage that person when I never meet them? Uh, well, if you're the kind of person, to be honest, that needs to know what your staff are doing every minute of every day, yeah. there's a good chance that you won't be able to work with a virtual assistant. Right. Uh, not everybody can, so if you're a micromanager, you know, it's probably not a good idea. Yeah, because really the point is... To trust and let go. Yeah, trust and let go. Oh, good business advice. <laughs> And what other tips can you think of, practical tips about how you work with someone remotely? Um, well, the three tips that I would suggest, uh, firstly, is the rapport that you can, that you need to have with your virtual assistant, right from that first phone call, right through to, you know, your first meeting, that banter that yeah. you have with each other. If, if you don't get on with them, then, you know, you're not going to be able to work with them. And it works both ways, you know, so... Um, this, uh, the second tip that I would offer would be to give a, your virtual assistant, your prospective virtual assistant, um, a, a small project to work on and see how that goes, you know, um, are they meeting the deadline that you set them and really the quality of work and again the communication, you know, yeah. did they keep you informed with the project? So try a small project first mm -hmm. and check that that goes well. Yep. That's good advice. And the third tip really is let them take care of the details, let go and yeah see how it goes yeah that might be the trickiest bit for a lot of people mm, wouldn't it that's right <laughs> <laughs> so consider it part of your professional development <laughs> to be able to let go <laughs> thanks for those fabulous tips man thank you Kath. thank you